All right. So as you can see, we've got a, a rather large radical expression here uh, involving division. So I'll uh, try to keep us a little simple. We'll see. So the rules go that you can simplify before you start, or sorry, simplify the numerator and denominator before you start simplifying these radicals. Now, uh, what I notice, uh, you know, 5 and 20 will simplify, and I know 72 and 288 will simplify. So the way it works is you can simplify the outside with the outside and the inside of the radical with the inside, but you can't simplify 72 and 20, right? Because one's on the outside and the other's on the inside. Uh, I know 5 and 20, you can divide both by 5, so this one cancels, and this one becomes a 4. All right. Uh, these two, I'm going to go ahead and divide them both by, hmm, well, let's see what they simplify to. So here's a little trick for simplifying fractions on your calculator. Uh, just do 72 and the 288, 72 divided by 288. All right, and then we're going to convert that to a fraction. So math, click the math button here, and it's that first option, convert to a fraction. Ooh, okay, so it simplifies down to one-fourth. So that would leave us a four in the denominator, which is very good because four is a perfect square. All right? So that's going to leave us with x square root. Remember, there was a 1 in the numerator, so that cancels. So that just leaves us with x to the 13th. And on the bottom, we have a 4x to the 3rd. And the 288 simplified down to a 4. And then an x to the 8th. All right. So next, we're just going to simplify this radical. I guess we can simplify the top as well. Uh, if you have 13 x's, well, that means you're going to have six pairs and one left over. So six x's come out. So you have x times x to the sixth with one left over. On the bottom, we're going to have 4x to the third, uh, 4. You're going to have a 2 that comes out. And then x to the eighth, that means you have four pairs. So x to the fourth. All right, we're almost there. Uh, what we want to do is use our rules for exponents to simplify the numerator with the denominator. All right. All right, so in the numerator, on the outside, we have seven x's. All right, so x to the seventh. And on the denominator, we've got four times two is eight. And then we have seven x's as well x to the 7th. Alright, so now 7 of these are going to cancel with 7 of those, so you're completely gone with your x's. And then you've got a root x and an 8 in the denominator. And that does it. Alright.